Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up this Ninja Dual Brew model number CFP300 specialty K cup and 12 cup coffee maker with frother. So this coffee maker looks a lot like the Ninja Dual Brew Pro. That model number is CFP301. It's got an extra milk or an extra wa hot water dispenser. This one does not have the hot water dispenser. So this is on sale at Walmart right now for $170. It retails for $200. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up before your first brew. Then in the next video, I'm gonna do a detailed video and we're gonna make coffee with it. So the first thing, let's grab the frother. Let's install the frother. It comes in the box separately. You're just gonna pull this out to the side, start at a 90 degree angle and snap it on. And then it only works when you press the button. So we need to, you want, they want you to rinse all these parts with soap and water before you do your first brew. So we've got the reservoir, the craft, this K-cup pot adapter, and the brew basket. So rinse all of these with soap and water. Getting this on and off can be a little tricky. It's got an arrow for the lid. You've got to turn it, you've got to turn it almost 45 degrees or 45 minutes away. So there it comes on. So there's where it pours. So when you want to put it back on, put the arrow right here and it'll kind of fit. Then you got to screw it all the way around. And this, yeah, then it goes down and it should snap right there at the end. This Ninja pot adapter can be a little tricky to clean. Um, it's got three needles up here, so be careful. And there's a needle down here. I would just rinse this off. They say all of this is dishwasher safe, but getting the reservoir in the dishwasher is hard and getting, I wouldn't put the reservoir in the dishwasher. I'd put the craft and this maybe, and definitely the brew basket's pretty simple. But let's wash all these parts off and then we'll prime the pump and set the clock. So with the reservoir off, you have the option of installing, like it comes with the reservoir installed on the side. But if you look at the picture, it doesn't show it. That's because you can mount it around back. Okay, so if you want to remove the reservoir, this little tab here and this little bracket's going to come off. Take the reservoir off. Then you got to kind of angle it and then just, it should just come around the side and then it goes there. The cord, there's a place for the cord. And now the reservoir can go on back. Now put this piece And then this piece snaps in like this. Okay, I've got the water reservoir filled up. Now you always have to have this brew basket in, whether you're doing a cake up or coffee. So put the brew basket in. They want you to first run some water through the K pod adapter. So make sure it's in the remove. That way you can take it in and out and then click it to lock and then you can, then you can open this. We're gonna leave that empty for now. You may see some bubbles coming from, I haven't started to brew, but I am seeing some bubbles come from the machine after putting the reservoir on. So first thing, let's set the clock, turn the machine on, the power button, I got it plugged in, turn it on right there. We're gonna hit the hour and minute button right here. We're gonna hold that till it starts flashing. Hit it again. The, button, the hours are flashing, now we're gonna rotate the knob. It's got an AM and a PM light, so that's good. And then hit it again, and it'll go to minutes, turn the knob for minutes, then hit it again, it beeps and memorizes the time. So since we've got the K-Pod adapter in here, it shows ounces. So we can rotate this knob. So we're gonna rotate it to the eight ounce, and then just hit brew. Just press that center button right there, and hot water is gonna come out the bottom, and that's gonna rinse the K-Cup uh, K adapter and make sure this isn't open. If it's enclosed, it'll just beep at you and it won't brew. So I hear a pump running and after about 20 seconds, the hot water starts coming out. We do get some steam coming around it. Okay, so when it's done, it gets, you get four beeps and it says the word end. So now we'll just go dump that out now let's put the carafe under here. So put the carafe under there. Come up here, 
We can see that it ran some hot water through here to kind of clean out the cape cup adapter. So now move this to remove. You got to push this lever. Now I can take this out. Now the coffee grounds, this is for coffee grounds. This is the head for coffee grounds. And you can see when I slide it, it activates the display. So make sure you slide it all the way. And we're gonna leave this empty for now. And if you wanna take this off, this, this lifts up. And there's the brew head for the coffee. It's got like a track it slides in. Slide that down, slide that. So once we um, install the, the slide, the coffee grounds, we've got different settings available to us now. I'm going to leave this on. We can change the brew, but let's just change. Let's leave it at classic. And I can go all the way up to a full craft, but I'm not going to run a full craft. Just go to the first craft, 28 ounces and hit the start button. Now that's going to run water through the brew head and clean the brew head and into the craft. So it sounds like it stops. So it brews for a little bit, then it kind of stops, but then it's going to pick back up. It's like a pause. So then it's going to pick up brewing again. And the water coming out of the bottom is about 183, 185. So there is a high altitude calibration. If you live at a high altitude like Denver, Colorado, then you need to calibrate the high altitude. Otherwise this thing will steam a bunch and you won't get much uh, water. I've got, I'm going to do a separate video on this high altitude calibration. It's very easy, very simple. So if you're noticing you have an excess amount of steam coming out while it's brewing this, now I've got it like a normal amount of steam. You will get some steam, but if you have a, an enormous amount of steam coming out, then you might need to do the high altitude calibration because your water is boiling sooner than it should be. And there's like a status. These lights are just counting over until it gets to the here. That's like a, to let you know the status of the, of the brew. After that initial pause, it's been kind of a continuous pump sound. Okay, so that didn't take very long. Be careful, that water is really hot now. Now we're just gonna go dump it out. Your coffee maker is ready to go to make some coffee. Check out my next video where I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna actually make some coffee using a K-cup. We're going to do the specialty brew. We're going to do an over ice. Thanks everybody for watching.